Hi there guys, and today we're in Polk Lafalde and we're doing a little bit of a spooky ghost hunt. Yeah, there's even a pirate's grave I believe, so we're going to go and check out the churchyard and see what sort of spooky shenanigans is happening today. Yes we are, so it's going to be very very interesting. Let's go and check out the pirate's grave shall we? found the pirate's grave in St. Chad's churchyard. Here it is guys. So here we can see the pirate's grave. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Super interesting. You can just see the pirate logo just there. The pirate's grave. Can you see it? So it's there it is. Apparently, I think we'll have to take a closer look because there's a name on it and we might actually find a name. And so the side door to the church opened as we were doing our paranormal investigation. And rumour has it locally that if you step a certain way round the pirate's grave, that a door will open, or well, that door will open. So that was certainly interesting, wasn't it? I know it's just a door opening, but it adds, adds to the legend, doesn't it? Now, the name on the pirate's grave is Edward Sherdley, and he died in 1741. He was a wealthy Poulter merchant, not a pirate, apparently. However, those symbols of the skull and hourglass are actually Masonic symbols. And prior to my transition, I was actually a Master Mason. Uh, I'm not a member anymore because I obviously transitioned to female. However, they say that once you're a Mason, you are always a Mason. So I was a fellow Mason visiting a Masonic grave and something spooky happened. <laughs> So, how about that guys? How about that? I knew something was going to happen. I just knew it. <laughs> so, thank you ever so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos and check out the videos here and here. I will be going on plenty more paranormal investigations, especially around Pont and Lafalde, but elsewhere as well. So, uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Goodbye.